Repeating Patterns, A Story of Mathematical Play and Surprise, by George Gadnidis and Molly Gadnidis, art by Eileen Lynn. Gretel and Hansel are playing with repeating patterns. Hansel is building a pattern using marbles of different colors. Gretel is using the colors to play different notes on a xylophone. Gretel and Hansel also sing the pattern. Green, blue, red, red. Green, blue, red, red. Green, blue, red, red. Mother walks in. I love your song, she says. Thanks, Mom, smiles Gretel. Come outside, says Mom. I want to show you something. Gretel and Hansel follow Mom as she walks to a sandy patch in the yard. Mom sifts through the sand to uncover yellow and green pebbles. They are beautiful, exclaims Gretel. They are, agrees Mom. Gretel and Hansel collect the pebbles in a bag. Let's explore the woods, says Hansel. We might get lost, cautions Gretel. We can leave a pattern of pebbles on the path, suggests Hansel. Good idea, concurs Gretel. As they walk on the path through the woods, they leave a repeating pattern of colorful pebbles, and they sing the pattern. Yellow, yellow, green. Yellow, yellow, green. Yellow, yellow, green. The path in the woods leads to a cottage. Three crows are perched on the roof. Is that cottage made of candy? asks Gretel. Yum, says Hansel. Let's take a look. I'm scared, says Gretel. There's a nice old woman at the door, says Hansel. Let's go say hi. Hello, my sweets, says the old woman. What a delicious surprise that you came for a visit. Is your cottage made of candy? asks Hansel. It certainly is, she smiles. She pulls two candies from the cottage doorway and offers them to Hansel. Thank you, says Hansel, as he puts one of the candies in his mouth. As they stand by the cottage, the old woman sings Gretel and Hansel's pattern. Yellow, yellow, green. Yellow, yellow, green. Yellow, yellow, green. As she sings, the three crows fly to the path and pick up the pebbles. When all the pebbles are gone, the crows fly back to the roof. How do crows know how to do that? asks Gretel. Crows are smart, replies the old woman, as she draws a grid on the sandy path. Try fitting your pattern on this grid, she suggests. Gretel and Hansel sing the pattern as they build it on the grid. It's the same song, notes Gretel, but the colors line up. The old woman draws a new grid, which is four squares wide. Try your yellow-yellow-green pattern on this grid, she offers. Gretel and Hansel build their pattern on the new grid. The song is the same, says Hansel, but the pattern is diagonal. Can we make the diagonal pattern go in the other direction? wonders Gretel. Let's try a 5x5 five five grid, suggests Hansel. The diagonal pattern is in the other direction, exclaims Gretel. What makes the diagonal go one way or the other? asks Hansel. That's a delicious question, says the old woman. Come into my kitchen, she adds. I have colorful candies, says the old woman, and a square tile floor to make more patterns. Gretel and Hansel look at the candies in awe. They also notice the giant cauldron boiling in the fireplace. Sorry, says Gretel. We have to go. Our parents will be worried, adds Hansel. And out the door they run. The pebbles are gone, says Hansel. Just run, exclaims Gretel. The old woman follows on her broom, along with her crows. The End For more stories, see learnx.ca